Hey guys, welcome to the Comageddon <laughs> Podcast. If you like these podcasts, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. And so like. you get notifications yeah. whenever we uh, publish our videos online. Yeah. Make sure and like, share with your friends, and comment down below. Uh, Shannon posts regular uh, posts pretty much every day, sometimes twice a day, three times. Goddamn, Shannon, you post too much. <laughs> like a teenage girl on Facebook. Yeah. Hey. Well, look at his hair. Yeah. <laughs> There ain't nothing wrong with my hair. It's a top knot. Come on. You look like freaking Pub Bam Bam from Flintstone. Don't give bam, him, bam, bam, don't, bam. Don't give him that much credit. Bam Bam was cool. <laughs> um, what the hell did Bam Bam wear that for that? You're just sad because you don't have any hair on the top of your head. Anymore. <laughs> I got plenty back here. He's pulling the Paul Heyman look. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we are at Geek and Out Comics for, the, uh, for this podcast for the last time. Yeah. Um, so those who have come in and supported the store, thank you very much. Uh, and of course we're here with Billy as well. He was here for John's first show when he opened. He's we're here for the last show. Geek out, uh, which I ended up turning into comic Ed pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, we got we some news. news. I was gonna say, yeah, I was going to say, do we have news in the flash? Yeah, Ben you know, Affleck did officially pull out of directing the Batman. Yeah, in which we talked about two weeks ago. Yeah. Should have been last but week. But it was made official. Slacker. No, I wasn't oh, being missed. I was going to buy a house. No, I'm not. Oh, not my well, my son was sick, too. Yeah. My son was sick all week. He, he was making excuses all week. Like, now, last week was supposed to be also be the anniversary special. Yeah, yeah I didn't I know. do that. Yeah. So this will act as the anniversary special and the uh, closing. Blame of, Shannon. He's hey, from Canada, eh? I'm not from Canada. I'm from right here in Decatur, Illinois. Canada, eh? So I'm closer uh, to Canada than uh, you guys were. What? I'm closer to being from Canada than you guys. Speak up so that I can uh, Yeah, I'm sorry. I am quiet. <laughs> see, when I edit this on my computer, I got to be able to see the little wavy thing so I know what to clip out and what not to. Can't you um, increase the no. volume? Really? No. Dude, go to Sony Vegas. Sony Vegas, you can mess with the audio all you want. I, I would need a desktop computer. No, you don't. No, you can do it on a laptop. That's well, see, the I thing is I've already got Sony Movie Studio Platinum on my computer okay. and... Anything over a certain time frame freezes up the program, and it shuts shuts the program down. So, uh, yeah. While well, you got tax money coming soon, I'm sure. Get yourself a new <laughs> fucking laptop. No, that's when I'm getting the background, the the three background things, the lighting kit, and all that stuff. And a new laptop. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we discussed a few weeks ago um, the possibility that. Um, ben Affleck was not. He wanted to pull out a Batman. <laughs> that sounded funny. <laughs> that sounds um, he, he didn't want to. He didn't want to. He didn't want to direct Batman anymore because he couldn't handle the, all the questions of of the movie. Which I figured he'd be used to by now. He did. He dated J Lo. <laughs> There's a lot um, of questions there. Then there was a little. Those. Then, then there's a rumor that he doesn't want to play Batman at all, which would suck because. Yes. He's a good, he's like a, he's my second favorite Batman. Yeah, he is a really good Batman. I think it's just because the pressure. There was so much hate on Batman versus Superman, which wasn't his fault. He did a really great he, job. He, made, he was one of the things that made the movie for me. Yeah. So what else we got, Shannon? So um, we don't have a list. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, well, those who watch the Super Bowl will now we now have a date for Stranger Things two, which I don't think Shannon did. You watch Stranger Things two? Did you like? I watched the first yeah, season yeah. one. I really liked it. Yeah. Uh, so we now have a date of Halloween is when Stranger Things season. See, two I don't like out. that because season one came out like in the summertime last year, right? Yeah. So now we've pretty much got to wait a year and a half in between what? seasons. A year longer than that. Uh, came out somewhere last year. It's not coming out this summer, which would be a year. Hmm. So yeah, a year. But you know what? So mean. But you know what? They're wearing Ghostbuster outfits in the That's first image. Yeah. So. That's going to be awesome. Um, what else we got? Um, uh, we had some really cool commercials for, like, movie commercials. See, for I didn't Super watch Bowl. the Super Bowl. I didn't either. I, I just went online afterwards <laughs> and watched all the <laughs> I, I, I watched it just for the commercials. Um, but we had uh, Pirates Caribbean, Dead Man, Ten Little Tales. Yeah. Still looks pretty decent. Um, we got Bruckheimer back for it, so it might actually be decent. By the way, I found out, uh, but I watched the latest episode of Fat Man on Batman yesterday, 
Kevin Smith will be directing the episode of Supergirl that Terry Hatcher is going to be on. Good, oh, nice. Yeah. He's been doing. He's been getting more involved in the. Yeah, in the we got to get a. We got to get a Dean Cain in there. Yeah, somehow maybe that's the episode we'll get Dean Cain back. Well, Dean Cain's oh, already in Supergirl. I know. He's not going to come back as Superman. No, he'll be, <laughs> he'll be there as like. It's, it's, he's she's, already, she's father. He's already there though. Okay, I so still think they should have made to... Dean Cain the cyborg Superman. I do. That's what I thought they were going yeah. with it. It made me I mad they didn't. And I'm so far behind now that I'm only a few weeks nothing. behind. I'm only a few weeks behind on everything. I haven't watched. I did try to watch Powerless. Um, I couldn't get into it. I haven't. I couldn't heard. either. Billy showed up when I was watching it, <laughs> so I didn't have a chance to finish watching it. Um, I just couldn't get into it. We did finally get to see Vibes' costume. Did we? Oh, we finally did it. Yeah, that's cool. They did finally do it. it it's very generic though, but he, it, you can make out the jacket looks just like his uh, comics counterpart. That's cool. Except it's not sleeveless. Oh, <laughs> I'm still waiting for him to bring Static X in. That'd be. I like to say. Well, okay. That. Thank you. I wanted. I wanted to go over this. Um, we're all over the fucking place. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Oh, you know what? Um, here's something else not related to any of the damn commercials we watched. Um, so, you know, they've been trying to do a Black Lightning TV series. Right. It was, I think it was, it was going to be on CBS. Uh, they decided not to do it. I guess CW is thinking about picking it up. First, CW, first off, here, hold on, hold on. Who the fuck is Black Lightning? Well, you remember Super Friends, Super right? Friends, yeah. Black, yeah, bullshit. He was Black Vulcan. I don't, yeah. I don't care who the fuck he was. I want, st- like Billy said, I want static. Yes, yeah, static. Well, Black is- Lightning, it becomes static, or offers static to be his mentor. In Young Justice. Yeah. yeah. And in the comics. But okay, fine. Black Lightning's a nobody. Like, literally. He had, like, maybe three appearances did he in even ha- Did he even have his own comic book? No. Yeah, he did. did what? He? Yeah. When? 90s, the 70s. I want to see static. Yes. In the 70s, he had a, a big afro action. and a mask. Yeah, I know. He, oh, he, he, yes, I remember. The, I remember the yellow mask about. actually had, like, pointy ears, to, you know, so he was, you know. No, that was Black Vulcan, you're thinking of. Yeah. Oh. It was the same character. Pretty much the same character, but Filmation wanted to. Oh, screw Filmation. <laughs> yeah. The good thing they brought out was that pretty much Or everything. not Filmation, pretty but much Hanna-Barbera. Pretty much everything. Yeah. Filmation, they, they didn't. They did have some good characters, though, like oh, El like, Dorado. I, like, I liked Filmation. I liked, Apache uh, Chief. Oh, and I did finish the second season of Young Justice, and I'm like, Netflix, hurry the fuck up with season three. Yeah. <laughs> That's one I wish they never would have took off the air. Yeah. Because it was so good. That's... Would you, do you know the story why? I don't know if we discussed this. Yeah, we've second. discussed it multiple, multiple times. Multiple times. You know the story why. Didn't the there's a couple. There, there's a couple of reasons. Uh, toys didn't sell. It's not all based about toys, it though. Is, it is for uh, Cartoon yeah. Network. But here's the thing. You know who were buying the toys? Girls. Okay, what's wrong with that? They didn't... That's not who they were um, pushing the show for. Shannon is opening up, if you're wondering what the bag is all about, is I brought in all my superpower figures. Except oh, Joker, I forgot to grab right Joker. I used to, have, I used to have all these Careful things. Careful of his leg when you squeeze it. It does work, but look at his... Yeah. Yeah. I even had the mail-away Clark Kent. That's all right, that'd be cool. I'm looking for a Batman. I have the Batmobile, and I've got Robin. I'm looking for... Oh my goodness. Calabac. My Calabac, his arm broke off. I think his is weird. This his is weird. He he closed. Oh. Oh, way to go. What'd you do? It works. Right. It works. Holy crap. I just got the... pelted with plastic. <laughs> oh, damn. All right. We're not squeezing Calabac's <laughs> leg anymore. What? Jesus Christ. The glue or something. Oh, wow. Just popped off. That's what happened. He's to... even got. That's what happened to. He's even got the Superman from Burger King collectible cups. The ones that the cup would actually connect to yeah. the figure. Minus the base, as you yeah. can see, I cut that off. Yeah. At the time, I didn't have a Superman figure. So you used the stationary one. See, if I would have known you were going to bring these yeah, in. Yeah, I would have brought mine in. I would have brought my flash that's in mint condition that my brother-in-law got me for Christmas this past year. Which one? That one? Is this flash, but Because there are two versions of that condition. one. There was the Super Powers version, and then in 89, they came out with a bunch of DC superheroes. Right. Like, that's the one where the legs go... In Seattle, but I my Marvel characters I've got. Was this the Super Friends version, or was this the oh, one that came with the green kryptonite ring? No, that is the, uh, that's the, Justice su- that's the Super Powers. Yeah, I have both in there. Yeah, this this apparently was a mail-away. I thought 
This one was a mail away. And I have I have the one, one with the kryptonite ring in there. I don't have the cape and I don't have the kryptonite ring. See, I had like two... And the cool thing about the Superman kryptonite ring, for people listening, is um, he had this cape... And he did his punch, uh, but when you put the kryptonite ring, it was actually a kid could wear it, and you put it close to his chest, he'd start wobbling and fall yeah. over. They or had, his arms would go... No. Mine no. did. Well, yours was broke. <laughs> um, but it's because they were separate magnets. And so yeah. the chest had a magnet and the ring had a magnet. They were opposites, and that's how that little gadget worked. It was pretty cool. We're gonna, I'm going to go over the, uh, the characters here uh, later on in toy review. What else you got over here? Ronin Warriors and Aladdin figures. Ah. There you go. We could do some Aladdin figures too. We could do Aladdin. I don't give a shit. See, I might as well get our uh, footage, toy review footage stocked up. Yeah. See, <laughs> I'm excited about the Beauty and Beast movie. I am too. Me too. Now, I thought about we can film in the basement because the basement is just, um, it's set up for filming. Mm -hmm. First it, off. It puts the lotion on the skin. <laughs> yeah. Um, and or I also, it gets the hose. I, I also have <laughs> I also have the big the big Lego city set up down there. Nice. Yeah, that's right. See, I was thinking we could alternate. We could do the filming process at in your basement, but do the podcast at my house because there I've got internet access. We can. Yeah, that's true. I don't have internet. I've always got my basement that's geeked out. Yeah. Uh, what other news we got? We're just. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. The Walking Dead's returning next Sunday. Ah, uh, yeah, and technically this Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday. Yeah. Another show I'm so far behind on. <laughs> Catch up. I've been working all the time. Watch it while you're driving. I really. <laughs> you're saying this to a guy who put his truck through a that pole. That wasn't his fault. That was no, ice. It was, it was a tree. <laughs> or a I, tree. I, I a killed tree. my baby. That Which really my sucks because I can use your fucking truck right now. <laughs> I miss my truck, dude. I got I a why truck get another in truck. an enclosed trailer. We can fit all this stuff in one trip. We might be able to. We might, we might need that this week. Well, let me know when. I'll. Because the idea is to today start getting stuff out of the back room. Um, everything like right here is going to stay till Friday because we're going to have one more D and D session here, um, and then it's going to work our way that way. The Nick today, tomorrow, and. Thursday. My wife is off. She does have school in the morning on Thursday. I prefer afternoons anyway. But I like to sleep. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or try to sleep. I, if you need it, I can get it clean, get the trailer and the bed of the truck cleaned out tomorrow and come by Thursday afternoon after the wife gets okay. out of school and get it loaded up. You got you wait, oh hey, you could you do a lot of uh, high stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So which means you got a good ladder? Mm-hmm. I needed to get the sign okay. off the front of the store. Okay. So I can do that. They're just screws. You might help them with that. My dad doesn't like heights. <laughs> <laughs> His ladders back there's tall, but it's it's like two feet like short than what he needs. So. Okay. So what else we got here? Um, uh, I'm getting depressed. <laughs> I Gotham like... went back on went on no, a winter that's hiatus. What I wanted to do. Yes, yes. We rant about this every fucking every time this happens. Okay, so we had how much gap between uh, the last Gotham and the, mo the most current one? Yeah, there were, Those, we got three, two episodes two, and then they decided little, to go on one two, three, two or three month gap. Right. And then we get the Jerome trilogy. No, it was only two. No, it was three episodes. Oh, it was three episodes. It was three episodes because we and had... And now they're done until May. And now, yeah, now they're done until May, which is still part of the current season. It's not, you know, oh, hey, it's a new season. No. But what when we fuck? return, we're actually going to get the Riddler. He begins yeah, dressing good. in the well, dream, okay, green well, suit. Let's good. not get to the good shit right now. Let's start fucking ranting about this bullshit yeah. that is five month or whatever. Well, they're so busy doing okay, the okay. other shows. They, no, they, they have one show, Gotham. Yeah. What's wrong with doing what they used to do? Film the entire freaking series. In the summer? In the summer. And it's Gotham. When is it sunny in Gotham? <laughs> <laughs> the only place they could do it would be Portland. Alaska, you know, in the winter, and they got the 30 days of darkness. There you go. Yeah. Um, no, I'm, I'm, what the hell? What? We get Doomsday, or Dark Side, rather. <laughs> Is he kissing Robin? <laughs> no, he's just upside down. His legs are sticking up. It does kind of look like they were making out. 
I wish I was king. I wish I still had all my figures. I don't know what the hell happened to them. I think I lost them in, during the several times uh, we've moved. But, uh, no, the, the, they gave us three freaking episodes, and then we don't see them again until April. Yeah. That's what, Mar. Although... Okay, it's two months wait, but still. You just came back from fucking hiatus. What the fuck were you doing during the hiatus? The, you know... They wanted to spend time with their families. Yeah. Fuck their families! <laughs> Film everything first, then spend time with your family. Yeah. I will say, though, that the guy who plays Jerome did a fantastic, fantastic. job. I love what I, they are doing with Jerome. I wish they'd just hurry up and say, yep, he's Joker. Because he is! Yeah. But yes, uh, good news. And music. I really love that where James Gordon punched him. And Harvey <laughs> Bullock was like, you just punched a dude's face off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. I need to get caught up yes, on these shows. <laughs> uh, but yes, when we come back, we are get officially getting the Riddler. If you go online, you can watch a teaser. He's actually, minus the mask and cane, yeah. he is in the Riddler suit. Uh, and, and it's even got the green question mark The green question Gotham. mark on, yeah. And I really love his Riddler. Yeah. Um, I I didn't think much of it the first season. He he looked a little too goofy for me. I liked him in the first season. But now that he started no, I liked uh, him. he's he's really grown into the seriousness. Into the character, yeah. Yeah. And I'm cur now I'm curious how they're gonna handle Penguin. Did you just say the Riddler was serious? Yeah. Wow. I prefer the ri the Riddler to be a serious role like he was in, Hush. in Batman the Animated Series. Or Hush. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's a, like, he shouldn't I be a like, Joker ripoff. He should not be a, he should not be Jim Carrey. No. Oh, no, I'm not saying nothing about that. The Riddler's, like, one of the most insane characters ever made. But he also shouldn't be but, Marilyn Manson, like, in the Batman. No, that <laughs> no. was. Which I, I'm actually been going over and uh, starting to watch from the yeah. beginning. So I haven't gotten to that part. It was probably second, what, second I don't season? I understand why DC did what they did with the Batman anime. From what, from what I've seen so far, and I think I'm only like up in episode five or six, I have issues with it. But here's the thing. And again, I haven't gotten to the, you know, emo Riddler yet. It's weird. Um, everybody so far, Joker, which I saw the first episode when it first aired, mm -hmm. completely turned me off to the rest of the series. And it was the how he looked. I didn't like. So I actually, like so, I, so I actually watched it, and he's got Joker. He's he, that is Joker yeah. minus the appearance. Yeah, I didn't like what they did with um, Bane either. Bane was he was Bane. He just looked goofy as shit. Mm -hmm. Bane, the way they did Mister Freeze was horrible. So I haven't gotten. I kind of liked Freeze. Bane, with the exception of the red skin. The, the yeah, the last episode I saw was a man bat. That was the last episode I saw. That one was actually decent. I I kind of liked the way they did so, the man bat. It explained a lot out of it, and what the anime series didn't fill in. And this one actually. Um, is it, is it the best? Ba is it the best Batman cartoon no. series? No, that still goes to Warner Brothers Batman the animated yeah. series, which I should have never Fox. canceled. Have you guys watched Justice League Dark yet? No, no I'm getting haven't. ready to. Hopefully today, I want to go. Pick up I watched copy. it. My brother bought it, and uh, it's on Voodoo. And Voodoo. Uh, Voodoo. Voodoo. <laughs> you remind me of the babe. What? The baby with the power. What do we do? <laughs> but anyway, I watched it uh, the second day it was out on digital. And it's okay. I don't like... I don't think in the comics uh, that Batman was a big part of the origin of Justice League Dark, was he? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, I don't like how they throw well, Batman into everything just so that it... it, it well, they, yeah. they have... I need... I probably should buy it. Um, they have an issue, the graphic of that, um, at Target. So. Uh, there was a scene, though, here. that I really liked. The Justice League Dark are surrounded by, um, these Reaper-type creatures. And they uh, Batman can't see them. And they're like, this one has vexed us for a long time. He has escaped death more times than we can count. His death will be pleasing to us. <laughs> and he gets right in his face and he goes, it's just staring at him, and he can't see him, but he goes, boo, and it jumps back. <laughs> um, they handle Swamp Thing decently. That's yeah, cool. yeah. That's the, my, the, honestly, that's the main reason why I want to see it, because Swamp the Thing. The most for... amazing battle was Swamp Thing versus the villain of the cool. movie. Cool. I was saying no it more. Was, it was absolutely epic. I mean, no it, look how dry my fucking hands are. No, seriously, I really I liked how they did the whole battle between them. I'm just still waiting for them to do a crossover 
like Marvel vs. DC animated thing. <laughs> they won't. Where you have like um, the equivalent Marvel character versus DC character, like Swamp Thing versus Man, Man thing. 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 That would be a messed up fight <clears throat> because Man Thing, it, somebody knows fear. What Swamp Thing does, his touch burns them. Yeah. That would be crazy. <laughs> See, I, I don't know much about Man Thing. But... Nah, like... I know the movie sucked. <laughs> that was um, the Man Man, man Thing um, and Swamp Thing. They, they were, I believe, they were created by the same character, same same artist, mm. same, same but writer. Man Thing came out first. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. But man Swamp Thing Thing's more popular. So yeah, yeah. Well, with, more with Man Thing, like anybody that's read the Daredevil kills, kills the Marvel Universe, he's the last one to die. Really? Deadpool ha figures out a way to kill Man Thing because he cannot die. <laughs> and Deadpool figured out how to kill him and was able to break into our universe. And the last panel is showing him at Marvel headquarters, peeking around the corner, looking at Jack Kirby and Stan creating Lee, creating <laughs> Marvel. And I'm going, shh, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> that is um, pretty cool. I know the big thing with Man Thing for me is his he, he was responsible for the origin of... Uh, Howard the Duck. Mm -hmm. mm. In the comics. I mean, yeah. So that was pretty cool. I want that issue so fucking bad. See, I would like to see The Shield versus Captain America. That'd be pretty cool. The Since Shield. they came out just months apart from each other. Yeah. The Shield actually came out first, and then Captain America came Shield, out. and then... I think Captain America Captain still win. Well, that, isn't that kind of Civil War, though? Not no, really. no, not, not Shield the agency. The Shield. The character. The character, the superhero oh, that right, I did right, my right, review right, on. Right. Captain America would would kill him. It wouldn't be a fair fight. He wouldn't kill him. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. He he would just he would decimate him. Yeah. We have any other news? I feel like we're missing so much. Um I really do. The Lego Batman movie. Yeah. Comes out this weekend. Yeah. Yep. My my daughter my youngest daughter, Allie, she's already asking. When mommy gets paid on Friday, can we go see the Lego Batman? Because they yeah. just they just finished playing Lego Batman two, and they just started playing Lego Batman ah. three on PS three. So. I love three. Three was awesome. Three has so many freaking Batman. Yep. Yeah. Especially if you do the DLC, which I did. Yeah. I get Lego movie. Well, not right now because I don't have internet. Uh, but um, but Lego Batman three. Yeah. Uh, did you see that they actually have costumes? Yeah. At Target, I don't know if they're at Walmart, but I know they saw them at Target. You can actually dress up, and it's a full Lego Batman or a full Lego Batgirl costume. Yeah, nice. Complete brick, and uh, it looks. Here's some. Cool. My, here's some. My costumes. girlfriend was actually upset because I told her it probably would not fit us. It's for kids. <laughs> We're not that short. <laughs> she she I'm she wanted to dress one. Coming in March, Me? we're supposed to get. A... <laughs> I'm going tonight. I'm going to. We're tonight. supposed to receive. Word on a new Batman Arkham video game. Oh yeah, there was yeah, there was that, a teaser yeah. on it. Um, uh, one of the uh, I, I forget which gaming company it was. It wasn't Rockstar Games or Rocksteady or whatever that did the original three. Yeah. It was um, the one that did Batman or Arkham Origins. Oh, yeah. okay. Vancouver. Or a lot of yeah. people didn't like. I liked it. They did. They did. I'm sorry. I think um, I Arkham Knight was the one of those They did just a little teaser. It had the same font as the Batman Arkham games. It just says, uh, watch this page coming in March. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of video games, uh, it's almost time. March 3rd. Nintendo <laughs> Switch. I'm excited. I got uh, everything's paid off. Got the Switch paid off. Got Zelda paid off. I got, I actually have a list here. Paper, paper, paper. Paper, paper, paper. Got a list from GameStop here of all the game launch titles that are coming out on the 3rd. We got Just Dance 2017. <laughs> Woohoo! Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yeah! Uh, one, two, Switch. Well, I'll get back to that in a minute. Super Bomberman um, R. Skylanders Imaginations. Um, and then we got special editions of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Finding of Isaac Afterbirth. Uh, another brunch. Legend of Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild Masters Edition. So those are your launch titles. Um, I'm actually almost also tempted to try getting Bomberman. Mm -hmm. Because... I've played that forever. Oh, I saw the preview for it. And uh, it looks really fun. It's kind of co-op. But if you wanted to try 
killing your uh, partner, you can. That would be fun. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we got like other other games coming out here. We're just you know, these are the ones that uh, GameStop has ready for res reser yeah. reservation. Uh, and I oh, believe in October we're finally supposed to be getting a new Assassin's Creed game. Yeah. They they skipped it last year because they wanted to focus put a lot of attention into this newest game. It's supposed to take place in Egypt. Hmm. Um. Let's see. Some games that people might be interested in. We were talking about Lego games, right? Lego City Undercover, which, <coughs> which was a game originally out for Wii U. Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Uh, they're supposed to be tweaking it for the Switch. It's supposed to be really cool. It's got all the... I'm assuming going to have all the DLC, I, everything like that, that on it. That's something I understand. <coughs> the game's been out for four years. No. Yeah. Six well, years now. No, it's been about four years. No, 11, 11, 11 is when it came out. Oh, okay. So, I can't say nothing. I still remember Mortal Kombat, September 13th, 1993, so. It's like, I, I was there at the release for it. It's been out this well, yeah, long. Yeah, well, but, you it's know, I, that's Fox. understandable because Mortal Kombat was in all the comic books at the time. Yeah. It's still very... It's a fun game, but it's been the five-year gap. They go five years between games. Elder Scrolls Online does not count. There's another Elder Scrolls coming out, though. When it's been the five year chapter <laughs> every five years and then release another chapter. I don't know. Online does not count. Um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which again is going to have all the DLC and some extra stuff. Uh, Dragon Quest 1 and 2, Fire Out, Emblem cool. Warriors, Xenoblade 2, Super Mario Odyssey, which is one I'm kind of interested in, mm -hmm. and then Splatoon 2, which is going to be really popular. That'd be better um, if you actually had the zapper from the original Nintendo to play with. Uh, um, real kind of quick. Um, so those are the, the hot games coming out for the Switch, available for a reservation at GameStop right now. So. Real quick, I wanted to take the time to give a big thanks to Brian G. Johnson. Um, his videos he's been putting out on YouTube have really helped increase traffic to Comageddon's channel. It's helped me learn how to re-tag the videos, do the thumbnails and the titles and everything. And like the little intro we do at the beginning... Of the show, you know, which we didn't do. No, not not that intro. The it, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and all that. He's the one that gave gave me the tips to do that, and it's actually driven a lot more traffic on our channel since I started okay. doing those changes. I, I look, I've seen. So well, all you gotta do for the <clears throat> thumbnails, if you want people to look, just put funny cat videos. <laughs> That's true. I don't want to do clickbait. <laughs> hey. If it works. Okay, so put everything you currently in there and then go, funny cat. Yeah. <laughs> um, but hit, the tips on his channel are really great. Him and Nick Nimmin do really great uh, YouTube user uh, channel tips. Um, we've actually gotten, in the last two weeks, I think we've gotten about 10 new subscribers to Comageddon. So, uh, and that that's only going up because... I mean, the Voltron Legendary Defender Season 2 video is currently at about 1,500 views. Let me go fill it up for you. Um, the Vol History of Voltron Part 1 is currently at a little over 100 views. Nice. Uh, your um, review of Voltron Season 1 and 2 is currently at a little over 63 views. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> um. Speaking of the Voltron, yeah. I've already got mine pre-reserved at Toys R Us. I'm getting the new Voltron. I've got the Black Line. The new Voltron what? The new the new Voltron toy. They have no. They're have, they're bringing out the new one based on the Netflix series. Yeah, they already had those out. Yeah. No, they're bringing out another one. The one the non-combiner, yeah. the just full Voltron. Yeah, yeah. you that. need to bring it on the show and do a review on it. Yeah. Because they have they have the combiner ones where you can actually build them. Like I have only found the black lion. Well, I'm I'm going to be ordering the other four lions off of Amazon. So you have to. So you have five mini lions that make one giant robot. No, they they're actually having where it's one piece. Yeah, you can buy that now. Not it's not out yet. Last time I checked, <laughs> it wasn't out yet to buy the whole thing by itself. And it doesn't come apart. No. Yeah, they have that now. You can go go to, go to Target and Walmart right now. Oh, Target. no, this is the Toys R Us exclusive one. What's so exclusive about it? It's different. I don't know what's <laughs> different about it. I have, I've only seen pictures of it. You didn't read the description? No. I never read descriptions. I see new toys and I want them, so I get them. 
I want to get. What's so exclusive about it? It has a Toys R Us exclusive sticker on it. Yeah. I want to get the shiny. Funko Pop vinyl Voltron. I've got it. it. I know you got it. I He's want it. it. What do you oh, want? I found. You finally found, found it for it? I finally found the exclusive Green Lantern Funko Pop. Really? I bought it at FYE. I want to get all the White Lantern Cindy Funko Cindy bought it at FYE. <laughs> I was going to say, who bought it? I want to get all the White Lantern Funko Pops. Good luck with that. They yeah. run a lot. I found them on Amazon for fairly cheap. What's fairly cheap? Like 15 bucks. A piece? Yeah. They're not exclusive. Well, yeah. Okay. What else we got? It's like the, I know the Batman one usually goes between what 45 and 50. Uh, what else we got? That's the reason I don't have any of the White Lanterns or Blue Lanterns <laughs> and Red Lanterns. See, I all, the only Funko Pop I've got so far is the Firestorm from Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, I did get my wife the uh, 10th Doctor. I think it's the 10th Doctor. Uh, David Tennant. Oh, yeah. Ha-ha. Capaldi. Peter Capaldi. Yes. Is um, after the 10th season uh, Christmas special is leaving Doctor Who. Um, name, it, name as many actors as you can who, that you would like to see play the duck. Ooh. I can name two right off the bat. Yeah. Okay. Patrick Stewart no. and Ian McKellen. Both have said they wouldn't mind playing a doctor for at least one season. Wow. I would love to see Patrick Stewart as a doctor. He would do a great job. Well, now Ian McKellen. He, he was he in He did a, do a voice for the, one of the Christmas specials. Yeah, it was the, the 12th the, Doctor. It was the attack of the um, snowman. Yeah. yeah. Which would make sense because several of I'll the tell you right past now, doctors and their uh, companions have appeared in previous episodes. I'll tell you right now who I want. Who? Claire. Yeah, that would be cool. Claire yeah. should have been one of the doctors. Yeah. It should have been revealed. I would have seen like Amy Pond come back as a doctor. No. Clara Oswald. Uh, let's see. see they, the they, impossible they, girl. They couldn't do that with her, though. Yeah. Because she... They did it in this... Where she ends up becoming derelict. So... No, 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 no. She's... At the last second of her life right now, another time traveler stopped time a second um, before she died. Yeah. And took her time traveling. And so... See, she's, I'm just too far behind. My job is, I love my job, but I work so much, I'm so far behind on everything. And I haven't gotten that far. Spoiler, sorry. Oh, here's one. Um, X-Men are uh, returning to animated series. Oh, no. Please don't ruin it. If they, if I... Of course, there's no So who, who would like, you like to see as a doctor? I really don't know. I mean, so far, we've only got one American actor as a doctor. That was the eighth doctor. Mm -hmm. Who ended up becoming the war doctor. Yep. I can't have Ron do it. <sighs> Who? Which, by the way, rest in peace, John Hurt. Ron. Yeah. So. Ron. Ron. No. Why not? No. He fits. Red hair. <laughs> he has always wanted to be a ginger. He could fit. Or one of the, one of the twins. George um, or Fred. They could play the doctor. That would be pretty cool. They're already a known established person in acting. And it could bring in that demographic of people too. I know who it. I'd like to see. He does an awesome English British accent too. James Marsters. Oh, I thought Spike. Spike. I, th I thought could, you were gonna could, go with Ben King Kingsley. He could pull it off. He he would be fantastic. Just especially yeah. if he brought that sense of humor he brought to Spike. Yeah, yeah. Spike was pretty funny. Um, and I don't think he's doing anything right now, really. So. A lot of those people aren't doing anything right now. Well, he was the only one that has had steady work since yeah. Angel ended. Yeah. Well, David well, no, Yeah, he's been, he was doing Bones. Yeah. Um, damn. I wouldn't mind seeing a female doctor. I really wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing a female doctor, just not for the reasons everybody else wants to see right. a female doctor. No, I just want to see a female doctor because it'd be something different. It'd be pretty um, cool. Or what about, um, what's his name? Uh, um, Eld El Eldris. Um, Freaking Hemdale from Thor. Oh. oh, yeah. But Peter Capaldi has become my favorite doctor. I like him. Mine, I was mine, kind of upset what, my when... mine used to be Matt Smith because that's the one who I was introduced to oh. the doctor in. But Peter mine, Capaldi is definitely. Tenet was, Tenet was my. Yeah. As far as the new. I mean, the new doctor. The fourth new doctor will always be my favorite. That's who I grew up watching. What if they did... Um, Somehow went back and... No, 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 no. 
re-energize in the previous one. That sucked. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, not no. the Bond one. Um, what's Doctor? The Strange? Bond Doctor. The Bond Doctor. Yes, they made him like they made the Doctor out like James Bond. You guys have never seen I, the I, original I, Doctor Who, have out you? Out of the new ones? No, the original. The old man. There was a Doctor Who that they based in the seventies, based oh, around yeah. Bond. Oh yeah. Uh, I can't Pertree. remember his name. Pertree. Yeah. He he was he had the white. Freaking afro, uh, it, it's Alfred's father. Yeah, it was Gotham. so bad. The, so what, bad. What about? Actually, uh, yeah, Petrie. Petri, there we go. Petrie would be my. Well, um, what about um, Michael? My choice, because um, you know what? It would be awesome. You got the son who follows in the father's footsteps and become is, is the new Doctor Who. Yeah. But what about Michael? Uh, what's his name? He played Alfred in uh, the Batman Begins trilogy. Oh. Oh. Um, um, what's his name? I don't know. I, I, I can't remember his name, but I, I kind of I know who he is because a little bit because he was. I think he'd make a pretty good doctor. He, but, 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 well, hold on, because he was in Joel's movie, the third one. I believe it was the third one. The movie sucked, and, they, and he won a, an an Academy Award for the, about the same time. And um um yeah, and, hmm. and I, I'll tell you um he um the Joker scared the shit out of me. <laughs> he brought his shit scared the shit out of me. I I did not know what he was going to look like. Or I know who you're talking about. Or him. yeah, how about Mike Myers? No, in his Austin no, Powers act. No. No. <laughs> He's not doing any acting right now. He doesn't need to. No, no, they're working on uh, Wayne's World 3, actually. Why? Why not? <laughs> the second one was horrible. Michael Caine. Michael yeah, Michael Caine. Caine. He, he would be a pretty good doctor. He would be, he'd be a good doctor. I wouldn't mind saying that. If, you know what? If he can make Miss Congeniality work, he can make anything work. Of course, we always have to go to our default. Christopher Walken. Yes. <laughs> See, that would... No. <laughs> Had to go to our default. No. Uh, for he, Christopher Walken can play anything. Anybody. <laughs> can you imagine how screwed up he would have everybody in the galaxy? <laughs> yes. Holy crap. <laughs> um, Pierce Bronson actually wouldn't be. Do, do an imper impression <coughs> of Christopher Walken as the Doctor. Fighting the dialects. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Well, pull, let me pull up that speech. Hold on. <laughs> Got to use the speech. Oh, that's horrible. That's what I'm thinking. It's like everybody that's going to try to come to Earth is going to have to deal with him. Yes. <laughs> they, or, wouldn't, they wouldn't want to come to Earth. Like, is this what they're like? What? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. <laughs> Every planet he visits, then it's like he gets banned. <laughs> uh, he would be the psycho doctor. <laughs> psycho. Oh, jeez. It's like we took this hunk of metal. And I hit it. <laughs> it's oh. the TARDIS. <laughs> I have a screwdriver for that purpose. Wow. Opens everything but wood doors. Oh, now it does. <laughs> uh, where should they... Uh, oh, it's so bad. His companion would end up killing themselves. <laughs> like, screw you, dude. I'm leaving. I can't take it anymore. Make a complete sentence. Oh, I don't want a video of it. I want a damn... I... I, I would love it would be great to see, but oh man, <laughs> oh couldn't be any worse than Johnny Depp as a doctor. That could be entertaining. So right? you have a screwdriver. I have a screwdriver. Um, it's just that um, Wow, I was in my name street. <laughs> well, he did play Sweeney Todd, mm -hmm. which was really good. I actually couldn't get into the movie. I'm just, I've, I've seen it a lot of Sweeney Todd. I, well, I want to see it on Broadway. I seen it on Broadway. It was amazing. Um, I watched it one time, and I I just couldn't get into it. I may give it a try again some other time, but I like how it it came full circle from Sweeney Todd with him and um, what's her name working in that to Alice in Wonderland and them mm. working together, which I finally got to see Alice through the Looking Glass, and I loved uh, it. That was pretty. Good, I yeah. loved Alice through the Looking Glass. I didn't. I was hesitant. I was like, you know what? I'll wait for it to come out, and I wish I was in theaters and seen it. Still haven't found it. No, fucker just wants to show me videos. I don't want a damn video. I'm trying to think of what else I've done. I've been playing a lot of mobile games. Oh, might have found it. Played. I got that DC Legends. I've been playing. Uh -huh. And well, Marvel Contest of Champions. I've been playing. See, the only mobile games I play right now are Star Trek Timelines and Clash of Clans. Mm. Dude, no. So, oh, okay. So, I guess it go. Oh, let's just leave it right there. It's fine. Stop touching me! Stop touching me! <laughs> I kill you! Get your hand out of my ass. Take me dinner first. <laughs> I'm the doctor. I'm a time ward. I'm from 
planet Gallifrey in the constellation of Castleboros. Wow! Sounds fun. I'm 903 years old, none of your business. And I'm the man who's gonna save your life and all six billion people on the planet below. You got a problem with that? There you go. <laughs> that would drive me insane. <laughs> I'm like, get to the point! Oh, wow. Hey, I'm now... Doctor, whoa, where's the cute blonde? Rose, wow, hot. <laughs> and the redhead, Ginger, her husband will die again, then I can have her. Maybe. And Claire, wow, redhead. Guardians of the Galaxy, wow, good movie. Maybe if the TARDIS went in and helped them, it'd go a lot faster. Thanos, scary. Fear, wow. They did a Doctor Who crossover in <laughs> the Guardians. Oh my gosh. Oh, that'd be amazing. He just kind of shows up and Drax just looks at him. <laughs> me next, me next. <laughs> The Doctor with the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, oh no! He, he is an Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> yeah. D Dra God, Drax goes. Drax goes in the TARDIS. Drax goes out of the TARDIS. Drax minds explodes <laughs> because it's bigger on the inside. Can you imagine Rocket got his hands on some of that stuff? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh man. <laughs> Okay, okay, this is what I need. I need this, 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 and uh, that guy's phone box. I, th I think Star-Lord <laughs> would try and uh, crash it. The first time. There would be no trying to it. He would <laughs> crash it just to see if he could, just to do it. Ah, uh, Gamora as a uh, companion. Oh, jeez. <laughs> she, no, he wouldn't allow that. She'd stab people too much. She's a stabby stabby. Uh. <laughs> Mantis would be a better companion. Speaking of which, Mantis has been confirmed mm -hmm. for the Aquaman movie. What? Black Mantis. Oh, Black Mantis. Yeah, I saw they got him. I forget who they cast. Somebody Do you think heard they're going to stick with the big they or something? Better. They better. They, or if not, he has, better. If, if nothing it's like else, Kevin the one, Smith if, said, if, he has the potential of being the next Darth Vader. If nothing, yeah. if nothing else, at least the size they did for Young Justice. Because the, the one for Young yeah. Justice wasn't overly thin. It was... Like, it didn't go past his shoulder. Right. Yeah. So. He gave uh, me Darth Vader or Dark Helmet. <laughs> that one. The look he had in Smallville, that looked a little cartoony, but. Well, yeah, it was straight from Super Friends. Yeah. yeah. And I had no problem with it, actually. I thought that was one, that's one of my favorite scenes. was when they actually show the Dungeon of, the Legion of Doom, uh, I thought I was going to say Dungeon of Doom. <laughs> now I'm crossing over. was there? Huh? LOD was there? Yes. Uh, oh, I was looking. Uh, I found something here. Your penis? His toes. So I found that. Um, something on comicbookmovie.com here. We found. Uh, uh, so, oh, yeah. So, um, Friday, the new Friday the 13th movie they were working on, the new uh, uh, World War Z sequel, uh -huh. done. Not doing it. Okay, both they have been canceled. I didn't like I, World War Z. Um, I liked World War Z. World War Z wasn't bad. But you had, um, if you didn't, if you missed something in it, you were pretty much. They they pretty much they couldn't make a sequel to it because they found out how to fix it. It wasn't that they hard. Did, to they they missed it. so much in that movie. The book was way better, but way way better. The um, fact that all you had to do was basically give somebody a common cold and they would ignore you, and then they would just die out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mentioned the X-Men animated series. Well, what do you expect from Mel Brooks' son? Yeah. And it's taking me back to the beginning. Fuck it. I'm still <laughs> waiting for chapter three of Spaceballs. Chapter three? You mean two? No. Chapter three. It starts for two. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good title for it. That is the title! He showed it at the end of the movie! He's like, we will see you in Spaceballs 3 this <laughs> The no, search it's, for two. I was one. God knows we'll meet up again in Spaceballs Two: The Search for More Money. No, that's at the, the very line. no at the very end of the movie, yes, they had the, the they line. had the scroll like at the beginning. Yes, they didn't. Yes, they did. I've got the DVD. I think, I don't he, I think, he's, I think he's remembering, you know, this in his dream. No, I'll, I'll find oh, it right now. Oh Lord, helmet! <laughs> 
Yes. You give such good hell. <laughs> but Rick Moranis would have to come out of retirement for that. He's not really retired. He's not really retired. He just took um, time off to raise his kids. Yeah. Because his wife died. And now he's and now he's kind of doing what he should have been doing to begin with, being a little picky on his roles. Yeah. Because God knows we don't need a sequel to Big Bully. No. <clears throat> I'm glad. Well, Rick well we could always use another. Honey, he was, I he was actually the... he was actually going to cut. He was actually going to come back for the third Ghostbusters movie, until they weren't going to do a third Ghostbusters movie. They were going to do a uh, reboot, and he was one of the only few characters who were not contracted to appear in a future Ghostbuster movie, regardless. Huh. So yeah, they were forced to do that. Those cameos. Okay, so coming up on Come Again, we've got. Oh, are we going over the time limit here? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, why don't we just make it a full hour? God. Because we're starting to run out of stuff to talk about. No, we're not. There's never enough stuff to talk about. <laughs> so what kind of person do you think would drive... The fuck? I don't know, it's an ad. <laughs> From what? What the hell are you looking up? Tons. I don't think we can do... From Chevy. I don't think... What are you... I'm looking... I'm pulling it up. You're pulling what up? Pulling what up? <laughs> the end scene. It's not the end scene. It's after the credits. Oh, he's looking it up on YouTube because that can't be doctored at all. It's. Mm, I'm gonna punch you so hard here and grow three inches. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Coming up on Come Again, we've still got about we'll say ten minutes left of the of the podcast. But before we forget and run out of time, let's say coming up on Come Again, we got the toy review of. <clears throat> The Super Friends. Which I haven't Super decided powers. which one to do. I'll probably end up doing, I don't know. It'll do be a surprise. Do all of them? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, not in one show, but like, we got to stock up on our footage, so. We've got Comics 101, Why Not to Trust eBay. Did we huh. do that last week? No, we didn't do that last no, week. No, we were going to do it. Never trust eBay for comic books. Yeah. Um, what else? Online specifically, but eBay, yeah. People are I don't know, what are you reviewing? Uh, I'm going to be doing some comic book reviews, plus I've still got to do part two of the history of Voltron. Yeah. Whew. Wait, why haven't you done that yet? You've had all this time. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. I thought you had everything scripted. Not everything. Well, that's your fault. I've been working on other videos, too. I've got four channels I'm trying to come up with content for, plus that secret project that we're going to be working on. Yes. Secret project. We'll tell you about yeah. later. <laughs> yeah. We'll tell I you like, about later. I like oh, you'll like this one. It's going to involve a fifth channel. How many fucking channels? Four? Yeah. What, like, name your channel. Come Again TV. We know what that's about. Cornthwaite Lawn Care. We can go on about, you know, lawn and stuff. <laughs> Comic Book Kids. Your kids one. Okay. And SM Cornthwaite, which is my vlogging channel. Okay. Cool. I come up with all these channels so that everything I'm interested in has its own designated channel. And so that once each channel does start taking off and I can start hiring people to help out and everything, I don't have to end up laying people off once things start getting lo slow because I got all these other channels that they can be working on. There you go. So, have you found it yet, Billy? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, that is what she said. I know it's in here because I remember... I That's what she said. <laughs> Ha! Ah, right there. Spaceballs 3. The search for Spaceball 2. That's just words. I think you said you were going to show us the damn scroll. I'm looking for the scroll. Just watch the movie. It's in there. I've watched the movie countless times. I Oh, somebody bought it. I was going to say, I could put it in right now. I used to have it up here for sale, but somebody bought it. Um, dream. Dream, dream, dream. Oh, oh I know. Um, I'll do a quick, uh, quick review here on The Founder. Uh, which is a movie about Ray Kroc founding McDonald's. I just caught that the other day. Um, which sucks because I had to watch it at home streaming because it's nowhere here in town. The closest spot here, uh, we're in Decatur. So the closest, closest spot you can watch this movie is either Savoy, which is near Champaign, or in Normal. Mm. Either way, you're traveling over an hour to see a freaking movie. Um, but it's called The Founder. It's about Ray Kroc, the guy who supposedly had founded McDonald's. Um, he is an asshole. <laughs> Plain and simple, dude went to this uh, this place, this, this little restaurant called McDonald's. It was in California, run by two brothers, and um, he stole McDonald's from. Him. He managed to find a loophole in their contract because they originally he was going to uh, 
uh, be their representative and do uh, franchising. Well, he found a way to where um, he doesn't need their approval on stuff because they were constantly, he had all these pretty neat concepts. And they, no, no, that's not us. No, that's not what we're about. No. He kind of got fed up and he found a way to actually um, open up different franchise McDonald's by um, purchasing land, leasing the land that the franchiser wants to put the McDonald's on, and then they have no say on what goes on in that McDonald's. Sure. And through that and eventually a court, ca uh, court case, they settled and he stole McDonald's from them. They weren't even allowed to, because their last names were McDonald's. So it was a, it was a good movie. But you really find out that the guy who founded it, Ray Kroc, is an asshole. <laughs> and Michael Keaton, I think, wouldn't even when I think it was like Conan or Jimmy Kimmel and said, yeah, Ray Kroc was not a nice guy. <laughs> so, huh. But I bring this up because there's one scene where he's just wearing a wife beater. And you could see that Michael Keaton worked out because this is about the same time he was getting casted and filming Spider-Man. Mm. So it kind of gets you excited, the fact that, you know, okay, he's taking the role of the Vulture seriously. Minus every time he was... You know, saying I'm Batman throughout the whole filming. I think that would be all. Awesome. I hope that's on deleted scenes or bloopers <laughs> or something on the blue on the Blu-ray. <laughs> What's wrong, Billy? It, I know it's there. I remember seeing it. <laughs> YouTube just sucks. Yeah, you also remember fairies and dragons running around in your head too. Poof! Pixie dust. <laughs> Okay, so if it exists, somebody go ahead and like send a link to the uh, video or something. So, you know, I'm gonna go and put it in and watch it. <laughs> well, good. And I'll tape it and I'll put it straight on, do a link to it. Okay, that'd be nice. If you can prove us wrong, great. But I'm telling you, it doesn't exist. Yes, it does. It does not. Yes, it does. It does not. Yes, it does. <laughs> All right, Christopher Walken, the Doctor. Why don't you take us out? Quick in the TARDIS now. We need to leave dialects everywhere. <laughs> dialects everywhere. Wow, gets me choked up. Space bugs. You know, dialects aren't so bad. They kind of remind me of Weeble Wobbles <laughs> with toilet plunges. I mean, the perfect the the perfect plumbers. You got shit in the toilet. They can plunge it, and they even come with their own snake. Snake the plumbing, it's cool, and the little squishy guys inside kind of look like chewing gum. Wow, who would have thought chewing gum in dialects? All right, guys, come back for more comic. I game. got nothing. <laughs> <laughs>